Good morning, I'm Mr. Boscarini and today we're going to see together how to make a bar chart using Google Sheets. So the first step is of course opening your web browser. I'm using Chrome right now and in order to access Google Sheets you need to log on to your Google account which I've done already as you can see from this uh, profile picture over here. Okay, so let's assume you've already done that and you know if you click on this grid over here which says Google Apps, you should have Google Sheets over here. Okay, so let's click on Google Sheets and see what happens. So, of course, I have a list of the sheets already used, but let's imagine we start from scratch. So we're going to open a blank sheet by clicking over here. So, as you know, Google Sheets is a spreadsheet program. So it's a program that allows you to manipulate numbers, to make lists, etc., but also allows you to make graphs. Now, uh, today we're going to see how to make a bar chart. That is the kind of graph you want to do when you're listing things. So let's imagine I have several books in my library and I want to sort them according to their genre. Now, first thing I want to do is to make a table according to the genre. Now, um, it's important to know that in any spreadsheet program, you don't have to start with the first cell in the top left corner. You can start from any cell around. Okay, I'll just click a random cell and I will start listing my genre. But it's always important, uh, just as a, a good practice, to always write what kind of data you're going to input into your table. So in this case, I'm going to put book John. Okay. And now I will start my list. Okay. So let's imagine I want to have some fantasy books. Let's have some romance. And then I have some uh, comics. Oh, oh, okay. Some comics. And then I have some mystery. Mystery. Then I have some science fiction, and finally, some horror, horror books. The next step of, is, of course, uh, writing how many books we have for each genre. Um, again, it is a good habit to write on top of your table what you're going to list in the column below. So here I'm going to write number of volumes for instance or number of books doesn't matter okay so of course now i'm going to input some uh random numbers just this is just an exercise of course okay you can do this with whatever list uh we want to do okay so i'm putting some uh, random numbers so uh i have a list we have 25 fantasy books two romans 13 comics seven mystery books 14 science fiction we love science fiction and 30 horror Okay, now we have everything ready to make our bar chart. The nice thing of Google Sheets is since it's web-based, uh, it should be working on every platform. That means it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have, doesn't matter what kind of operating system you have, uh, you should see more or less the same features. Okay, um, now in order to make a chart, uh, what I recommend usually is to select your uh, table of data. As you go on, the, for instance, on the top left corner, okay, and by keeping the left mouse bus button pressed, I'm just drag all around, okay? So as you can see now, I've selected all of my data. The nice thing of Google Sheets is that it's a cross-platform kind of program. What does that mean? It means since it's web-based, it runs uh, basically with every operating system. Doesn't matter what computer you have. If you have um, an Apple computer, you have a PC running Windows. If you have a Chromebook running Android, doesn't matter. Uh, so you should have, depend, regardless of your computer, you should have more or less the same options. So as I said, 
we have select our table at this point we need to insert our graph in order to do this you click uh, on this icon there are other ways but the best choice for you is to click on this icon that says insert chart now as you can see the program sort of chooses for you um, depending on the kind of data that the program sees it chooses okay i think that the best representation for your data is a pie chart of course that is not what we want so let's see how we can change this in order to change it our best option is to look on this menu here on the left where it says chart editor you saw that this has popped out as soon as we wanted to insert our chart um, and this opens by default in the setup tab you also have a customize which we're going to see in a few seconds but before that let's see here and you see the first item is chart type pie chart so i'm going to click here and we have a drop down menu with several options okay and for instance there you go we have the column chart which is exactly what i was looking for so let's click on that and here you are now um of course there are several things we can do in order to beautify or to change this graph but we're almost done already as you can see for instance on the horizontal axis i already have my label which says book genre i have the uh, labels for each of the columns fantasy romance comics mystery science fiction horror and then on the vertical axis i have the label it says number of volumes and as you can see here you already selected um, a scale for my graph not only uh, the program automatically makes a title for you okay it says number of volumes which is what you have on the vertical axis versus book genre okay now uh, all of these things can be customized by you okay first of all you can drag this thing around by just clicking on it so you click away click back on it and you see now this i can drag it around i can um make it bigger for instance if i go in any of the corners and you have this double arrow as you can see and i drag it i can make it bigger but let's see now how we can change some of the features of our bar chart you might have noticed that the uh, menu on the right where it said you know uh, that allowed us to change things about the chart has disappeared so how we can do that how we can make it reappear you'll probably just click on these three dots over here and it should tell you edit the chart there you go so we have our chart editor back up now um there are many many things you can change around that really do uh encourage you once you start doing your first bar chart to start exploring okay but the most of most things you can change about your graph can happen when you go in the customize because as you can see you can uh, decide for instance to change background color you can uh, decide to choose uh, change the border you can want you might want to make it 3d for instance let's see how we can do that okay in some cases that's also very nice to present it okay you can change also your title you see here um the program has automatically made a title for you but um maybe it's not what i want to do no uh, maybe i want just to to put a title like say uh, types of books in my library okay and as you can see it's already changed how about the uh, labels of the axis how we can do this you can see here there's an again a drop down menu so you can change the title you can actually add a subtitle you can change the horizontal axis title and the vertical axis title. so you can really play around a lot you can change the size of the title for instance you can make it super small but as you can see it's totally readable or you can make it very very large you can change 
um, also between bold face or italics okay you can change the alignment okay these are all things I really recommend you play around with okay um, and again as you can see you have several other options including horizontal axis vertical axis grid lights is something you want to play around for instance if you want to have something which is uh more dense or less dense okay so for instance you see minor grid line count something like that and you can can change it again you can change the color so these are really the basics of making a budget i really encourage you to try your own play around with a chart editor remember anytime it disappears you just click on the area and then click on the three dots here and but that's today that's all from mr buscarini